What's going on, guys? Back again with another OVOX vocal resynthesis tutorial. This time, we're taking a look at OVOX's MIDI out feature and how you can unlock its creative potential for your projects. We can take a simple vocal line like this, and with the built-in pitch to MIDI generator, we can turn it into this. Or we can keep stacking other VSTs with the same vocal line and in real time, get this. This opens up a ton of real-time potential, so that means you can just sing into OVOX and instantly hear your voice turn into just about any other VST instrument you have in your collection. Not only can you turn your voice into just about any VST you want, you can also use OVOX to trigger chords, scales, and harmonies on any virtual instrument at the same time. I'm going to show you that in a minute. For now, let's go ahead and dig right in, and I'll show you how to get started. To turn on OVOX's MIDI out, all you need to do is tap on this synth icon right here, and that reveals the settings. Now, as long as you have the latest version installed, you're going to see this MIDI out button right down here. So just click on that to turn it on. All right, now you're ready to set up a MIDI track for pitch to MIDI conversion. I have the OVOX plugin inserted on this audio track here where I have the lead vocals. I'm going to keep the plugin synth and OVOX controls down for now so we can hear just the original voice. All right. So now you can either open up a new MIDI track or you can send the MIDI out of OVOX to another VST instrument. Right here, I already have the element synth inserted on a MIDI track where I set up a basic synth pad. All right, so over here on the input tab on this MIDI channel, you want to change it to the audio channel where OVOX is located. In this case, OVOX is on the lead vocal channel, so we're going to select that. All right, next we're going to arm the MIDI track for recording. And now when you hit play and record, you get the same notes of the vocal performance generated in MIDI on our synth pad. Check it out. All right, you see now we get the same line represented in MIDI. Now the accuracy of the generated MIDI note is determined by how you set OVOX's note and tolerance controls. Now this sets the difference in sense from the currently sung note that's required for the new MIDI note to be generated. So with the sense control, we can go from 50 up to 200, or we can turn it off. Now, unlike MIDI, which has a distinct pitch value, human vocals or actual sung notes have that slight vibrato or fluctuation to them. So we need to use the sense control in order to tame the MIDI-generated note to remain within the desired vocal scale range. So for this vocal, I'm going to adjust the sense to about 60, and that keeps the generated MIDI from fluctuating up or down a whole step. All right? Right next to that is the time control, and this determines how fast the MIDI notes are generated. Now you can set this between 1 to 1,000 milliseconds, or you can toggle it to sync and quantize the tempo. The tolerance time is like a hold time before OVOX generates a new MIDI note based on the incoming change in pitch. The key with the time tolerance is to choose a speed that's not too fast so that you don't generate a ton of notes, but not too slow so that it has enough time to respond to the changes. For this vocal, I have it synced to a 64th note, so that it locks to the changing vibrato of this particular performance. Now these settings all depend on the vocals you're working with, so feel free to adjust these to suit either the vocal audio track or live singing in OVOX. All right, so we generated our MIDI line. What we can do now, for example, is take the same MIDI information and copy and drag it to any other VST in our session. From there, However you want to manipulate the MIDI is all up to your creativity. With OVOX's MIDI out, you can just sing, hum, or speak right into other VSTs in real time. Again, just make sure the inputs on the VST MIDI channels are set to OVOX, and you're good to go. All right, let me show you another thing you can do with the MIDI out function. We can also take MIDI information from the note mapper and send it out to other VSTs in real time. On this MIDI track below, I have the Electric 88 inserted, now all I have to do is change the track input to OVOX on the MIDI channel above, and then either turn on the input monitor or arm it for recording. Now back on OVOX, head back to the synth settings, and turn the MIDI out on. Now when I play OVOX, I can trigger the same chords with the Electric 88. Check it out. You can even mute OVOX and play just the 88. All right, and then you can add another virtual instrument or two or three. 
Doesn't matter how many, you can control them all through OVOX in the MIDI Out feature. All while keeping everything else locked in time. Now this is an amazing way to get ideas for songs or build chords around vocals quickly and easily. All right, so those are just a few of the things you can do with OVOX's MIDI Out feature. The next generation vocal plugin just got even better. Not only is OVOX now Wave SoundGrid compatible for real-time processing in the studio or live, it's also NKS ready for Native's complete control and machine. Now this opens up so many new possibilities for your composing, producing, and not just vocals, but for the VST synths and virtual instruments you work with in your sessions on top of that. To learn more about the OVOX vocal resynthesis plugin, visit waves.com slash OVOX. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest tips, tricks, and more from Waves Audio. Until next time, thank you for watching.